I, uh, I was going through some boxes in the house here, and I've noticed I found some boxes with some happy engagement cards in there, and I thought, oh, that'd be nice if I put them up and make it seem like this was a happy home. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Ty Jones here. Thank you for coming to watch my review on this wonderful Sauvignon Blanc. It's called uh, Ville Bios, I think. Uh, or Ville Bios, I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. My uh, <laughs> my, fr my French has never been uh, bien at all. <laughs> um, first of all, thank you for coming to watch my review again. It's good to see you. And if you're a first time person watching my reviews, please subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram now, which is very exciting. Um, and you can also find me on Vivino. I've had to have a new account set up on Vivino. And I have, you can find me by searching The Welsh Wine Guy. Oh, little news. I got myself a Fitbit. Or is it a Garmin? Garmin. Garmin watch. Um, so uh, I'm starting to do a bit of running again, which is very good. Um, which means I can process wine faster, <laughs> which is uh, a great idea. I've been looking forward to this one. As some of you may know, one of my favorite grapes is the Sauvignon Blanc because as you may already know, I'm actually was in the process of growing one in the past, but that's old news now, don't worry. Anyway, to the review now. This is one of the wines I've picked up from mynakedwine.com. You may have spotted this before if you're ever looking at the naked wines um so far must be honest average three and a half star wines three to three and a half star wines have been coming through for the naked wines i'm hoping that this particular sauvignon blanc is going to um change my mind of the naked wines box uh this was their basic box there are other boxes available but for me personally my palate i haven't been overly impressed with it um although the wine has been quite drinkable and i think for the price you can't half go wrong particularly if you get a good introductory offer anyway now to this one so um french sauvignon blanc it's not a bad color although the lighting in here isn't particularly fantastic there is a lightness to it maybe early harvest mm, the scent is my scent i did have coronavirus i must explain uh right before um, I got um, issued my divorce. Uh, my wife said she wanted a divorce. She, we, I did get a bit of coronavirus. And I'm still recovering from that. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting something a bit sharper than that. It's a bit sweeter than I thought. Citrus. Hmm. Mild, sweet citrus. I thought, <laughs> sorry, actually a little bit pleasantly surprised. Um, I thought this was going to be a bit sharper than, than like a bit bit more tart than the, the like the other ones were. But it was actually not bad. Citrus worth. It's like lemon sherbet, with gooseberries there as well. The sweetness will last on the top of your lip here. So citrus, gooseberry, passion fruit in the wine. Really pleasant aftertaste, actually. Typical flavors you'd expect in a slightly cheaper, in a slightly cheaper end of the wine. This bottle, although on the website was saying that it should average out about ten to twelve pound a bottle, you will find that they sell this for about seven. I think it is a bottle. So you're talking an everyday wine. Um. Um. Once you get through the passion fruit and the gooseberry and the, the citrus, you'll find that you'll get some, the pear as well, crisp green apple, and maybe just a little bit of cat's piss. I'm not sure. Um, it, it's not, it's, it's not quite there for me. It's not quite a complete wine for me um as far as whites go as you all know one of my favorite uh vineyards and wine producers amuga uh and they produce a white rioca which is just outstanding and it doesn't compare to this um it's double the price but that's one thing so as i was saying 
I've started my own Instagram account. I've only got the one rating on there, but I do hope to bring more ratings to it. Um, the Sauvignon Blog will be my second rating on my Instagram account, and um, that will be coupled with the Kruger, which I do have another bottle, but I won't bother getting it for you now. Um, Kruger. Um, yes, pretty solid wine, to be fair. Um, I would say rating, three stars. Three stars, we'll call that a solid six out of ten. Thank you very much for watching the video, and uh, I'll see you next time. Yachida.